You show people a glimpse of your life and they think they got it all figured out. And y'all might hear the Chicago come out, okay? Y'all might hear the Chicago accent come out. But dude was like, I'm like, baby, is you cool? Like, fuck, like who pissed in your Cheerios? And this is why <laughs> y'all have never heard me talk like this. try i'm gonna try to do like a weekly vlog thing again today is monday um i want to try something new for my videos on monday but my face is like super super dry first of all because i washed it but i didn't tone it moisturize none of that no serum no nothing so i'm gonna do that a little bit later um intentionally trying to just show it for myself especially since i just had a baby so um this is today's work from home that's my microwave <laughs> this is today's work from home outfit i did my hair in a little bun um mom pouch yeah she's cute i love well that didn't go well but yeah this is my outfit for today and then i always do my hair like in a bun low-key i just warmed up re-warmed up my coffee because i had already made it but i just re-warmed it up so y'all know where i'm at and if you don't know i'm at work and i low-key forgot my glasses i have these but they're literally so thin and you guys know i'm not a fan of like the circle i had ordered these but since i don't have my glasses and i need them to see um yeah my co-workers funny we're talking about the new hocus pocus intentionally just trying to show up for myself um, which is kind of hard, especially like since I like had a baby and just like going through things mentally. I don't know. I feel like the glare, the glare, the glare should have turned off the kitchen light. But just like going through like the mental motions and all that other stuff after having a baby. So I'm purposely trying to show up for myself at least every morning. Both of the kids are still asleep. So it gives me time in the morning to like do my hair i should have slicked down my widow's peak a little bit better but listen but do my hair um put on something comfy um and just feel good about myself so yeah right now i'm just at work i don't really have anything planned to do today because it's monday it's monday it's monday you guys so i'm trying this thing with like decluttering everything do you guys notice that i took down like all of my paint yes it was like my paint brushes were up there and then it was two shoe boxes because i planned on returning some shoes and they were literally up here like on top of here um yeah my canvases were up there my acrylic paint and my paint brushes so trying to declutter because honestly in the season that i'm in if I don't declutter, like, everything can't go where I'm going. Makes sense? I'm going to keep my canvases and stuff, but, like, I'm decluttering so that God could make room for the promise, sis, because there's multiple, that he has for me. And just decluttering some stuff and getting rid of some stuff is one of them. I forgot today I actually do need to do something. I am going to um, be decluttering Winter's room. Not looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to that. I don't know which room is worse, hers or mine. Probably hers because I have to declutter toys and all that other stuff. But 
I'm going to be giving it away to the Goodwill. I talked about this in a couple videos, but instead of just throwing my things away or like finding, I tried to find somebody who would take like my clothes if you're a size eight, but I'm just going to start giving myself to the Goodwill because there's no point in me throwing it away. Um, and I live in Chicago, so if I do drop it off in like one of those Salvation Army boxes, like they are ridiculous. Like it's just, I don't know. It's, it's just, I don't know. And it's scary because I think I seen one of them on 79th and who's going over there? <laughs> Not me. Not me and mine. No. So... Uh, I'm just gonna take it to the Goodwill. That's why I bagged them up. Why am I holding on to it when someone else in need can use it? And also, I think Winter School has a drop box for kids' clothes, so I could drop them off in their drop box. Like, um, it'll be me, it's mainly like you know, like kindergarten sizes, so it'll be like mainly like her. 4T stuff but like I got stuff from like when winter is a tiny little thing so she was fitting like 2T clothes and yeah like 2T t-shirts and I was just like I'm over it girl and they weren't belly shirts she just she's just a petite little thing so um those are the ones that are gonna go to the Goodwill so I guess I'll do two separate bags one for her school and then one for the Goodwill because she has coats and stuff there's one coat that her Gigi purchased, um, her Gigi passed, very hard to talk about, don't want to talk about that, I don't like talking about that or like my grandma passing, so just tough subjects, but yeah, so, um, I don't want to let go of that coat, just like you guys ever see me wear that Adidas hat, that was actually my grandma's hat, vintage, <laughs> um, I'm not letting it go. I'm not letting it go so I don't know if I want to let go of it's hard to let go of the things that like winter's Gigi purchased for her I don't know if I want to let go of that coat but somebody in need is going to need the coat so I'm pretty sure her Gigi's like girl get rid of that coat but I know my grandma is telling me get rid of that hat because listen it fits perfectly on my head okay mini rant um so i was on tiktok right and this is what i don't like about social media and this is something that i'm trying to stop this is one of the major reasons why i don't have a facebook social media gives small people big voices so you guys know i haven't been on tiktok right and God has, I feel like God did this on purpose just to um, see like how I re would respond because there are going to be people like that. And I've already, I've seen it before, but I haven't seen it too much. But even like people like in my regular life, there is just going to be people like that who are just judgmental, who don't know nothing. Like you show people a glimpse of, glimpse of your life. And I think I said this earlier. I wasn't trying to be mean to the person who made that comment. But you show people a glimpse of your life. And they think they got it all figured out. Like you show them a snack that you eat a day. And they swear that that's all you ate. So I guess I was on TikTok. And like somebody made this strange ass comment. First of all, excuse my French alert. Because it is very annoying. And y'all might hear the Chicago come out, okay? Y'all might hear the Chicago accent come out. But dude was like, he said something. I commented, y'all know when you see stuff on for you page, if it's funny enough, if you could relate, whatever the case may be. I just be scrolling and commenting. And I made a comment on this girl post. Didn't know her. We don't know nobody up on there. We just be scrolling and liking stuff. And basically some dude was like but you're not a boss i'm like baby is you cool like fuck like who pissed in your cheerios and this is why <laughs> y'all have never heard me talk like this this is why i don't really fool with social media and then when i do see stuff that's like rude or something i just immediately delete it because as you guys can see i know how my mouth can get 
So I'm like, is you cool? And they were just going on and on. And as you're going on and on, I'm just like, is you cool though? Like, are you okay? Like, and then I was like, do you know me? And then they were like, I know you well enough. See, this is where I draw the line because for one babes, I hope there's nobody stalking me that made like a fake account to be doing all this extra stuff. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna start that. Honestly, I don't feel like my life is that interesting enough for people to be doing that goofy shit, but whatever. And two, blocked immediately. So anything said after that, I was just done. But this morning when I woke up, that's the devil because I'm like, I put that ish behind me and it bothered me for a minute because listen, when you have to bite the bullet and this is just a really minor situation for a lesson that somebody else can learn. When you have to bite a bullet and walk away, mm, it is a very hard bullet to swallow because sometimes you really so badly be wanting to say stuff, like really badly. And you just like, you can't. One second. Okay, had to do a little um, work stuff, but basically, where was I? People get a boys, blah, blah, blah. God's trying to like basically tell me to like bite these bullets, like because it is very hard to bite bullets, period, in a lot of situations that you're supposed to walk away from. So I feel like he purposely put me in this situation to see like, what you finna do? Like, are, am I going to when I give you like this promise, are you going to respond to every negative thing? Which I'm already sitting in a promise. And I was just like blocked, whatever, they kept going. My thing is like, why are people so miserable, bro? And that's how what I got out of it. People are very miserable. Like you guys get a glimpse into our lives and I love sharing things with you guys. I love being open. I love it. I'm not going to lie. I love it. I love letting you guys see, like, the ugly parts of my life. Like, stuff is not peaches and cream. I be crying real tears. And for people, like, you're not even doing nothing with your life but watching me. And that's just how I'm going to start taking things. Because you're, like, you're not doing nothing with your life but you just watching me. And then you have something negative to say. For somebody you're not about and and what you know what you know what do you know you know nothing you know nothing like even if like if in so many words the only person who knows something is my mom and that's about it and my sister Mainly Keontae. <laughs> no offense to the other ones, but yeah. They find out stuff later. The other sisters find out stuff later. But you, unless you're them, you literally know nothing about my life because you only know what I show you and I don't show you much. So, I don't know. I guess it was just like a lesson of like biting the bullet and like the devil tried to remind me of this same comment because apparently like after I blocked this person... People were still commenting, I guess. And people were like, oh, you're so funny. First of all, Shorty, you lame as hell. Because one, I don't know you. And two, if you thought you knew me, you don't know me. Lord, excuse me. Motherfuckers who thought they knew me last year don't know who I am today. And that's period. Motherfuckers who thought they knew me the beginning of this year. Honestly, after I had my daughter, you definitely don't know me. You don't know me, period. So, yeah, and that's just that on that. <sighs> it's too early for this. It's too early. It's too early. All right. 20 minutes of pumping. Got me. Look at that. All reliable, right? Me, the pitiful left. Pitiful. This is so pitiful. Like, are you kidding me? And this is why, like, when y'all see me, like, mix the milk, it ain't really mixing the milk. You gotta make it even. Because, are you kidding me? Two ounces on the left. Who knows? In only 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 
this is pitiful this is pitiful this but the left always does that the baby favors the right so the right gonna make more milk but i need to do a little bit of research a little bit of youtube to figure out come on at least give me three give me three me three i don't know if you guys remember but remember when i was last week when i was like i hate these breast milk storage bags it is the Madela bags i legit do not like these bags they're horrible i don't care like everybody not gonna like your pro product and i look for a sponsorship but if you want to send me a breast pump let me know but um yeah i don't like these bags i prefer the parents choice um parents choice is cheaper too but first of all parents choice is way thicker than this that's not even a problem the problem is for one you have to get scissors to cut the top which already takes too much time so i just kind of do this which i'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do but it's the closing of these bags like they sound crunchy and okay her ice cream is melting okay just get a paper towel but when closing these bags i don't have that many left mama i got popsicle on my leg you got popsicle on your leg Okay, well, you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta go mm -hmm. wash it off. Mm. But yeah, crunchy. Two out of ten stars. And that's me being nice. But they, it just takes. I shouldn't be having to do this. I shouldn't have to do all of this just for it to close. That's ridiculous. Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help You woke up. You woke up. You awake. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. I guess smile for me again. Yeah. Yeah. So, typically, I've been trying to just like pump and um, stinky give her a bottle so i'm about to oh it's hot up in here hot very hot really hot in my kitchen but um yeah i'm gonna just use this bottle very ghetto i know but um i use hot water and then this janky measuring cup that doesn't even like have the measurements anymore on here to just like thaw out her milk never put breast milk in a microwave so i'm just about to thaw thaw this milk out keep it in the hot water and then these are the parents choice bottles that i showed you guys in like my baby baby um video their glass bottles they're decent but like when you breastfeed you typically want to get um nipples that are closer to the nipples so i recommend the tommy tippy she also likes dr brown but those are dirty so we gotta work with what we get I don't know about y'all, but I like to put the diaper under the booty first because just my luck, I get peed on or pooped on. I can just cover real fast. 
I forgot who taught me this way. I think it was my TT Rhonda, if I'm not mistaken. Some luck in the back. I don't give what I was so and so and say. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moment. Stay in the moment with me. Give you a moment to give you a moment with me. Spend all the roses. Spend all the roses with me. All of this hair, all of this hair that you do not like nobody touching, let me tell you. I was trying to show y'all winter like playing with the baby and like trying to like keep her um entertained and sinking sort of sink into her that boom, daddy, boom, daddy, boom, 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 that song then she started choking winter want to eat my cereal i thought you wanted this cereal no you want this one girl because i was going to say maybe open up my cereal oh my goodness lord Release me from the shackles of this chocolate. Mm, I was looking for music for a video, but these I blame my mom because I forgot how good they was. And then after I had the baby, like literally when she was here, it was like a um, couple days. She bought some. And I cannot, like, I cannot, period. I cannot put them down. I cannot stop eating them. And I'm not trying to get big. But, Lord, release me from the shackles of these because I can legit eat this whole bag today. And it says, there's 10 servings per, like, container so the serving size is three pieces i don't know how many up in here it's probably 30. so in each serving it has 150 calories it's not bad i'm on my fifth one there is nine grams of fat per serving trend no trans fat i remember when everybody went crazy over that but there's 15 grams of carb per serving 14 grams of sugars. Yeah. So I get a lot of questions. Because I'm still at work until 5. I get a lot of questions about my job. 
Um, I don't mean to like be like one of those gatekeepers about jobs and stuff like that because that's by no means like what I'm trying to do. Um, first of all, I love my job. I love the business that I'm in. I love my job. But it's just like, I feel like that's really personal. I know like there are things going on like in the world right now when people are like you you work from home like what do you do and it is personal you guys um i'm not like i said i'm not trying to be like that gatekeeping type of person for jobs like i want you i want all y'all to succeed i want you guys to be in the business that you want to be in i want y'all i want y'all to work because the world is raggedy point blank period but this one is kind i mean all of this is personal but this is literally like i love my job um i've been in this business for years um and it's just one of those things that i really can't tell you guys besides and i know a, pe a lot of people um wonder too because I work from home and I understand that um that like people have kids and it's just easier to work from home it really is easier it takes off like a really lo large low gotta stop eating chocolate I seriously love this tripod I swear if you are a creator I'm linking this tripod for y'all because it is literally this is my favorite thing ever ever so for lunch we ain't eating pizza rolls <laughs> um these are literally my favorite these are my favorite so i like these lightly breaded chicken breast bites it's by just bear i don't know i get them off i order from amazon fresh so i get them from amazon fresh now winter don't like them very strange she's a chicken nugget person so these are my favorite chicken nuggets too and these are the purdue um chicken nuggets and they're just made with like real chicken breasts um like the rib meat of the chicken so yes these are so good oh my gosh these fat these are so fat so good and the oil is already heated up so i'm about to put these on and it's easy to tell the difference because i'm gonna eat all the rest of these i'm just gonna have to order some more Okay, y'all, so I'm about to upload this video. It's another day in the life. And I had to airdrop, like I took screenshots. Y'all know how that goes. I had to airdrop. Have y'all ever paid attention to like your neighbors? Like, cause I live in a townhouse. Like the names that, <laughs> like the names that they have for airdropping. Somebody named they, I almost said the S word. Somebody named they stuff Mr. Big Weed one time oh my goodness i sometimes hate air dropping i wish there was an option i don't know if there is to just only air drop it to my phone bro one time i air dropped my pregnant pictures i'm pretty sure to my neighbor lucky me lucky me they're both asleep um yeah i cleaned up the living room a little bit that's her carrier so both sleep and then this is the stuff um so hocus pocus came out so i have some goodies that i'm gonna do like for the shark kitty board oh i forgot i had a pizza in here yeah i got a pizza so yeah there's just some stuff up in there i have one itty bitty teeny tiny thing left to do for work and then i'm gonna start setting up um winter has like this uh halloween um these halloween pajamas so 
we're gonna bust those out yes head ass but you yeah. know we're gonna bust those out um i'm gonna get my like monster um house shoes we might honestly just take some pictures like right here um and yeah get hocus pocus ready because i'm excited period okay so thought i was gonna be doing this quickly well i need to organize that but i thought i was gonna be doing this like with a little bit more time on my hands but like literally after i was done with work it was only like 30 more minutes left but i had some stuff i had to do the baby woke up so let's see what we can do I'm not gonna worry about the dishes right now it's friday i'm chilling mm -mm. okay so i've got my amazon fresh bags and i'm preheating the oven right now Winter needs to re-up on some cereal, so got her that. If that ain't make waking a baby up worse, I don't know what did. So this is the big one. This is the one that I use for Winter's birthday. Cutting board, low key. I don't even use it for, I use it for a cutting board, but it's cracked, so I need to get a good one. Okay, so I hope you guys can like see the board a little bit, a little bit better. Um, where is that cup? No idea where this cup. Oh, here it is. Oh, the baby crying. Oh. So this is my cup for hot chocolate. simple but had to get the baby so i am going to go upstairs change and yeah oh i changed it because it was in a kitchen with all that stuff let me show y'all it's kind of cute so excited <gasps> look at it it's so small because it's only us two but y'all get the gist and then we're gonna have popcorn and pizza. <sighs> yeah. And then we're gonna have movie night tonight. Okay. So I have the baby and what's her name? <laughs> Winter with her two piggy piggy tails and we're Halloween ready. Clothes. And my um, tails with his bike by the helicopter. Mm hmm So we kind of try to color coordinate, he but... Look, he's woke. No, she's sleepy. Um, yeah, we try to color coordinate, but yeah. We'll see how this goes. Time to go downstairs. Um, we can back at the last. You know what? I love having a smart house. Because look, look, just... I don't got to touch none of the... Watch this. Just look at the lights behind me. Off. Oh. Off. Oh. <laughs> I love cricket because if I ain't got nothing, I got some popcorn. So, just going. 
And then I'm about to pop the pizza in the oven. And then I picked these up from like our local family dollar, but it's like these, and they were only a dollar. It's like these fall plates. So these are what we're gonna use for our pizza. Just trying to get everything off the counters a little bit. You got the popcorn? Yes. Okay. Oh, hold the marshmallows. Okay, go. Because I have to take the teapot and fill up my cup and the hot chocolate. And the cool thing about the lights in my living room is that they dim. Nope. So. Vibes, I swear. Okay. Oh, it's still hot. That's because that's 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 that stainless steel. Are you ready for Halloween candy? You gotta get ready. She threw it. Yeah. The baby choke on the boy. All right. Dad, ready? Ready? Yes. No, I watched the audio. I watched that. I almost watched that. I was sucking. It's not fair. It. Why was Say bye. See you guys later. See you in another vlog. I am enough as I am. I am fully equipped. Even when the tide and the currents start to shift.